In early November, Samantha and I found ourselves at the Goodwise Shopping Plaza near the Connecticut New York line. This is where a colorful group of people were gathering to commence a commemorative run from New York to Los Angeles, just like how Brock Yates did it back in 1971. Except this run is called the Musket Ball rather than the Cannonball, due to a Musket Ball's slow moving nature. All the cars that you see here have less than 100 wheel horsepower, minus the bus, which we'd be getting really familiar with soon. We're all here for the 50th anniversary of the first competitive cannonball, which happened today, 1971. Mr. Brock Yates put this together. That's what we're here for. We're gonna, we're gonna make a commemorative run in their honor. None of us are at all good at driving. We've got <laughs> shitty cars. Don't be an idiot. All right, so we're all gonna maintain the immaculate record of safety that this pursuit has. And the most important thing to remember is that when you're doing this, you don't need a good time to have a great time. John Fagara? Yes? Definitely not an organizer of such a street no. race, but no. it, uh, if, if there were someone to speak first, it would be you. I would speak. That's it. So good. Matt, thank you. Came out to see us. And then you're you're flying to LA yeah. to then drive this back? We have the easy part, flying in a nice leisurely drive up the Pacific Coast to Seattle. In, in the smelliest automobile that will ever exist. I'm sure it's going to smell a lot worse when I get to That's it. That's it. Oh, oh boy. Ready. Oh yeah, are you ready? Oh yeah. I mean, I have the easy part, just flying. I love the Ford versus the car on that side. I know, yeah. that's awesome. You driving first, Jared? Yeah, I'm getting the first leg because I'm most experienced with big girls and heavy traffic. <laughs> so. This is exciting, they're about to start and head out. So the boys set off in the rally bus in an attempt to set a transcontinental speed record while Samantha and I had plans on beating them to LA. I hope you're comfortable in the bus, Jared. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Ooh. Is there an odor in here? <laughs> There's an odor in here. There's spray right there. Just, that's why we got the sprays. Soon we were in the air and on our way to Los Angeles. Being Samantha's first time to LA, we had to hit up all the cliche bits, but it was a blast showing her around. Mm -hmm. We've been going for a long time now. I'm not sure who I am or where I am. <laughs> <laughs> we are dealing with substantial headwind and hill climbing as we are going through New Mexico. As the boys were nearing the finish line, they were mere minutes away from beating their speed goal. Uh, the next you're gonna see and hear of us is uh, in front of uh, location number two. We made our way down to the Portofino to catch them crossing the finish line. Jared is almost here with the, the short bus crew. We're at the Portofino, Los Angeles, California. They're gonna be so exhausted. Right here, we are right here. They're almost here. Go, 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 go! Hurry! Go, 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 go. Hurry. 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 Go, go, go. Hurry.
How do you feel, man? Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're gonna park, and then we'll talk to you guys more in just a little bit. 39, 39, 28. 39, 28. Yeah. And that is a record for a school bus. Nice to stand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and walk. First couple times we got out of the bath, out of the bus, we were like, <laughs> how do we get to the bathroom? So we have made it to the other side of the country in the other pop-up car meet where we uh, started 39 hours, 28 minutes ago at the Good Wives Shopping Center. Woo! Um, that's a record for uh, a school bus because no one's done it before because they're intelligent. Our goal was beat GPS time, 42 hours, be friends, and no accidents, and uh, we're very successful. So we caught up with all the guys, got some sushi, and I got a chance to ask the owner of the rally bus what Samantha and I had in store in the next coming days. Okay, tips on driving the bus. Uh, I know. Well, it doesn't steer well, it doesn't accelerate well, and it doesn't brake well. So the key thing is, keep your momentum and don't kill anybody. All right. Oh, Larry! <laughs> Thank you, sir. We're going shopping. <laughs> Use your mirrors. This is fun. So the plan for today was to drive from Los Angeles up the world's most beautiful stretch of highway to our campsite in Big Sur. But our plans didn't exactly go accordingly. This is horrifying, but I got beeped at only once so far. So five minutes in and that's pretty good in my eyes, I guess. Sitting here, we're in the bus, yes! Yes, we are just leaving. We're, we're in LA still. We're about to drive up the coast, but we want to see a couple other things first. And the bus is nice and slow, it's just relaxing. Yes, the bus was quite slow but I didn't realize how slow it was. We wasted what little daylight we didn't know we had left by going to see the Lux Hotel from the show Lucifer. Then it was time to gas her up and make our way up the Pacific Coast Highway before it started to get too late. Okay, this is the first time filling it up. Let's see how much we get in there. So diesel is about 490 a gallon. Premium has been like typically between five and Five dollars and forty cents a gallon out here. <laughs> We're not used to that on the East Coast. Huh? It only took seventeen gallons. Oh, it stops at eighty-five dollars automatically. It's a fifty-five gallon tank. This is gonna be very expensive. How much do you think it costs? Oh, jeez, a hundred and ten. Two fifteen. Wow. Oh, I got range. Oh. The wheels on the bus go, and they work all through LA. The wipers on the bus go. <laughs> we are on the beach. We're actually Quite in a parking, no, we're in a parking lot. We're in a <laughs> I don't think she knows what it literally means. I don't know. And this is how you park it. Foot to the floor. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. So we originally were going to camp at Big Sur, but if we did that, we would miss driving the coast during the day. So what we're gonna do, we're going to find a place to park and camp right next to the coast. Yeah, we're, we're all about like changing plans at the last second. It's fine, it's good, we're, we're okay. Sure. Sure. Sure, yeah, Sam's all about changing plans. Last minute. She's, ah! so, she's so good with that. We ended up vastly underestimating the amount of time it would take to reach Big Sur, so we had to find a camp spot just north of Pismo Beach. Sam, oh my god, there's dust flying everywhere. <laughs> Sam bought a little sweeper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then this is the plan, you just sweep it out. Why is there so much dust flying? 
we got our drinks and we are all settled here in the bus we got our bed made you can't see it i was trying to um plug in my laptop to this tv and use a uh, wi-fi hotspot on my phone but it just wasn't loading netflix so no, that's okay that's oh okay. man we're gonna have to talk to each other i don't like that Tonight is also the lunar eclipse, and it's right in front of the bus, and we are going to have a front row seat to it. It'll be very fun. This is, it's going to be really cool. This is, like, really cozy. It really is. It's nice. We have the curtains. I wow. know Jared's going to be watching this, so... Hi, Jared. <laughs> Hi, Jared. This thing's a blast. It is. It's, it's really like, fun. It's so hard to drive because of the steering. It makes it fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a challenge. Yes. Do you have any fives? Yes. Do you really? <laughs> and we were soon lullabied to sleep by an uncanny Pete Wentz lookalike in the parking lot. All right. Night one in the bus complete. <laughs> it's actually really comfortable back there. We just woke up in like the most gorgeous place. Check it out. Are you starting a fire back there? Yes. With your feet? The dirtiness of the feet cannot go in the shoe. And I can't find the Lysol wipes. Uh, was that a quote from Abraham Lincoln? I believe it was Nixon. Take a look at this. Wow. By the way, it's not technically legal to stay overnight here. It's just a lot of people do it. Illuminati. Oh, good. Smacks my head on camera. Oh, what a beautiful place to wake up in the morning. This is great. I do wish there were more like designated spots to camp out or, you know, car camp. Because every person deserves to be able to experience this. It shouldn't be reserved just for the people who can afford property on the coast. On the next episode of Bus Life, Sam and I rally race the bus up the most beautiful stretch of highway in the country. Then to that red bridge you guys may have seen in Full House. Then we camp out in wine country. On that note, take care now. Bye bye then. Whoa!